Hello everyone, Michael Wynn here, and I have set up this quick test. I wanted to hear the difference between the brand new Sound Devices Scorpio and the Sound Devices 688 and listen to the difference between the microphone preamp. So let's start out this microphone preamp comparison test with an exterior. Directly above, I have the Sheps Cement 5U, which is typically my choice of exterior microphone inside of the Rycote Zeppelin. It is actually being hardlined into the passive whirlwind splitter here and being split to the Sound Devices 688 mic preamp and also the Sound Devices Scorpio preamp. Directly above me is the MKH50, which is something that I use often in interiors. Now, earlier this year with Sound Devices launching the Scorpio, one of the things that they mentioned about the Scorpio is that it's the best microphone preamp that they've ever made. And it's something that I want to listen to and specifically hear. So I'm here with my friend and production sound mixer, Scott Beatty, and he just got done listening here in the studio to the Scorpio and 688 to the 48K 24-bit files. Scott, gonna put you on the spot, first impressions. The two devices were very close but the Scorpio was just that little bit more transparent, little bit more clear, and it comes in in the upper mid-range portions of the voice. The voice sits more natural, there's more definition and a better presentation, and it's just a little bit more transparent and clear. It just sounds like the actor's voice in the space on the mic. Yeah, when I started comparing the two and I was soloing in Pro Tools here between the 688 and Scorpio, I noticed that when I listened to the Scorpio, it was almost like the 688 with the mask off. Like there was that clarity you're talking about. There was more definition. But, you know, on a narrative film set, mostly I'm using wireless boom. So I think we need to take a listen to that. Let's do it. So we're bypassing the microphone preamps now of the 688 and Scorpio and using the preamp on the MM1 to go wireless to the 688 and Scorpio via the same splitter. And the question is, well, we're no longer comparing mic preamps because we have one preamp feeding two separate sources, but we are going line in, which feeds into an A to D converter and also a word clock. Now, I'm not sure if they're the same on the Scorpio as they are in the 688, but I'd be curious to hear, are you hearing a difference between the two? So having listened to the line input of both the 688 and the Scorpio, I'm gonna say right off the bat is I'm not hearing as much as the difference between the two signals. I am hearing some of the qualities of the Scorpio still in the line input. However, I am noticing a pretty substantial difference between the hard line mic test we did before and the wireless system, which to me is a reminder that just the mic preamp or the mixer recorder or whatever it is you choose to use is just really one component of a much larger system. Absolutely, the Scorpio really has that clarity to highlight the entire track that you're making and every single stage of equipment that you put in between the actor's voice and your track makes a difference and the Scorpio helps that translate. I look forward to your comments below. If you're concerned about, well, YouTube compression may be changing this, I've also put two files, one labeled the 688 and one labeled the Scorpio for you below both recording at 48K 24 bit. So if you wanna put it in your timeline and listen to the audio of this video so to really get a sense without having to deal with the YouTube compression, you're welcome to do so. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.